What's up, Mad25 Gamers? In Mad25, it's good to have a play that combines your man coverage with your zone coverage. So yesterday, as we broke down the two-man under and how we like to use it, today we're going to be down the cover three and why we like it as a base zone coverage. So it's our quick audible left from this formation. Or, yeah, quick audible left, or it's actually the R1 if you want to hit the button. And what we like to do with this, we're going to base line and press. Shift your defensive line to the left, shift your linebackers to the right, and that's the basic setup of this play. And then what I like to do is manually move Conte to the middle here, just to have him in the middle of the field. Now, the adjustments on this play, what we like to do to make the, the blitz a little bit better, uh, to make this coverage defense really effective, is I like to drop my defensive end on the left side of the screen here into a hook zone. I like to quarterback spy this uh, left side defensive tackle. And then what I like to do is I like to take Lance Briggs here, and I like to man him up on somebody. If they have a receiver that's really good, I'll man him up on him. Uh, or you can even drop him into a flat. It doesn't matter. Just do whatever you want with him. He is uh, your, your flexibility player. You know, It doesn't really matter what we do with Lance Briggs. Uh, the, the basic concept of the, what we're doing here will still work. So uh, a lot of times I'll drop him into man coverage on a slot or something like that. All right, so that's done. And then the only other adjustment we have to make is take this guy right here, Major Wright, who's in a, a deep blue zone, or excuse me, in a yellow zone, and put him in a deep blue zone. And then we like to do, like I said, we like to user this guy right here, Conte, and this is a play where we're going to have a, a phenomenal coverage. Uh, the cover three out of the bear under is really effective, and uh, we're just going to be running around with Conte. We still have three deep no matter what. Uh, even if even if Conte is our user player, we're still going to have three deep. We're just trying to jump on something, and uh, the pressure is eventually going to get in. We're going to trust our, our stud on the outside there, Lance Briggs, to get decent pressure as we as we pass rush the quarterback. So, and in game, and actually in game, the pressure works a lot better. And normally they're going to throw the ball faster, and normally they're going to throw it at your coverage, and that's why we like to use this. Uh, another thing that this allows us to have is it allows us to have that that little insider tell as to what our opponent likes to do. And this is what we like to use the base zone coverage for is to fill out our opponent, kind of see what all he likes to do, and just force him to take long drives up the field with us trying to confuse him. He doesn't know what's going on, and that's the best thing about what we can have out of our defense. So that's the Bear Under Cover 3 uh, basic zone coverage setup out of it, and uh, we're going to use the Cover 3 for a couple of other options later on in the game or la later on in the defense. But for right now, this is the Cover 3 basic zone coverage setup. Be sure to use this to combine it with your man coverage and really force them to ultimately get confused. You know, another thing we can do out of this cover three, the possibilities are endless, but just baseline press, shift your D-line left, shift your linebackers right, and then as a basic theory, you know, we can man up all of the major receivers here, so we major up, man up all these guys. We still have a cover three shell with our user in Reblissi one guy, but, you know, that's not really important about how many, this is a coverage defense, this is us dropping back and saying, hey, beat me, you know, somewhere besides quick passes and, and forcing them to take time and take long drives up the field, and this is going to be a good complement to the blitzes we're going to use, as well as the man coverage we already broke down. So that's what I love about Discover 3. It complements everything else in the defense, and that's why we added it to the playbook. And I uh, can't wait to hear you guys using this zone pressure or zone coverage defense to really get a lot of interceptions or just to get a basic understanding of what your opponent's going to do. So this is why we like to use the Cover 3, and this is the setup for it. For those of you guys that are new to the YouTube channel, go ahead and check out some of our earlier videos. It's going to help you kind of get acclimated with what we do here. Those of you who are members of the YouTube channel and are regularly watching, these videos I really appreciate it if you guys could share it on Twitter because you guys know how much work goes into these videos and and uh, how effective they are if you guys think that it deserves to be shared please do that also if you guys didn't like the video for those of you who hate on the videos or don't like them let me know what I can do to improve you know don't just say you suck this place is garbage let me know what I can do to make it good uh, I'm trying to make a channel that can help everybody so if you see something that I'm not addressing or, or you see something that needs addressed, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's really a true blessing in disguise to be able to share with you every single day and uh, talk Madden 25, probably my favorite game of all time. And I, I really do love this game. I love I love Madden and I love talking with you guys. It's really awesome to get an opportunity to do it every single day. And uh, anyways, guys, we'll see you tomorrow.